Namaskar, my name is Shrinka Agrawal. Today we are going to learn Aditya Hridayam. Aditya Hridayam is a very, very powerful chant. It was given to Lord Ram by Agastya Rishi. Now, the legend goes that at the time of Lord Shiva's wedding, uh, all the Saptarishis and everybody was in the procession to the mountains when he wanted to marry Parvati, right? So as all the intellectuals were a part of this wedding procession, it seemed like the whole world started to tilt towards that side. So Lord Shiva invoked and called on Agastya Rishi. Agastya Rishi is a very, very powerful Sapta Rishi. And he said, Agastya, we can't have this. We can't have the world tilt towards one side. So why don't you go down south? Cross the Vindhyachal Parbat, go down south and stay in the south so that the balance is maintained. So Agastya Rishi went down south. When Ram and Ravan were fighting, this big war was happening. Ravan was overpowering Ram. He was very powerful. He was a rishi in his, uh, in his own right. And he had amassed a lot of power. So much so that he had even gotten the title of Lord Shiva's favorite disciple. So he was a very, very powerful man. He was a very, very powerful tantric and he was a rishi. And he was beating Ram by miles. Like So Ram was really, really struggling to keep pace with Ravan. So Sri Ram got really, really tired and he got exhausted and he got frustrated and he was basically disillusioned and disheartened. And he said, I can't do this. I can't take on Ravan. I don't think this war is possible. I have lost Sita. And this is very beautifully described in the Valmiki Ramayana, this whole chapter. It's very beautifully. It's in the Yuddha Kandam of the Valmiki Ramayana. Where Ram says, I can't do it. I just can't do it. He puts his dhanush down, his uh, bow and arrow down. And he says, I can't do it. I just can't do this. So, at that time, and you can imagine this war is being fought in Sri Lanka. Right? Lanka. Or today, in today's day, Sri Lanka. So it's down south, it's below Vindhyas. There is nobody else who can help him. So Agastya Rishi comes to his aid because he's the only Rishi, he's the only teacher who's around in that part of the world. So Agastya Rishi comes to him, comes to his aid, and he says, Ram, there is no need to worry. Don't worry about this. You can easily defeat Ravan. All you need to do is invoke the power of sun, the power of Lord, Surya Narayan or Aditya. Now we have to remember, we have to put it, put this into perspective that Ram Chandraji or Sri Ram is a Surya Vanchi. He comes from the family of or lineage of Surya or sun. And if you come from a family of Surya Vanshis, you obviously have spent all your life invoking sun, right? That's the first thing you do. You, that's, that's your family deity. You, you invoke a sun, you pay a beings to sun on a regular basis. So Ram had grown up doing this. Sri Ram, because he was a Surya Vanshi, had grown up doing this. He was paying a beings to the sun. And yet, he could not defeat Ravan. And Agastya Rishi said that I know you have been paying obedience to uh, Lord Sun. I know you have been praying to Surya Narayan. But this is a secret chant. And I'm going to give you the secret chant now. Ram, the secret chant is so powerful that all your years and years of puja and one recitation of this chant properly you will be able to defeat Ravan. 
So this chant is called Aditya Hridayam. Aditya, sun, Hridayam, heart in Sanskrit. Aditya Hridayam means a chant that is really close, really dear to Lord Surya Narayan's heart. That means sun really likes this chant. So Lord Ram was given Aditya Hridayam. He was also prescribed how to carry out or chant this Aditya Hridayam. Aditya Hridayam can be chanted in one sitting. The entire chant has to be chanted three times. There are three segments of this chant. Invocation, chant and Palastuti. The invocation needs to be chanted three times before you start. The entire chant, including the Palastuti, has to be chanted three times after that. Once you've done that, Aditya Hridayam is complete. In this video, what we are going to do is, I'm going to teach you the Aditya Hridayam, and I'm going to teach you that chant in... I'm not going to repeat it three times. I'm going to do it once. And you can play the video again if you want to hear it two more times. Or you can go to my YouTube video and I'll share the link with you. Wherein Aditya Hridayam is chanted. Um, so you can practice, practice with it. Ideally, you should chant it three times in a day. And what happens if you chant Aditya Hridayam? After Aditya Hridayam was chanted by Lord Ram, he obviously got the strength, he got up, and he picked up his bow and arrow, and he went on to defeat Ravan. Now, you have to understand that Lord Ram, like I said, was a Surya Vanshi. He had done Surya Upasana all his life. And special Surya Upasana all his life. It wasn't something which was new to him. He had done it. And for him, after so many years and years of Surya Upasana, when he did this chant once, he was able to defeat Ravan. For us mere mortals, we've never done Surya Upasana. We've done whatever little we've done, um, not to take anything away from anybody. Maybe you've done Surya Upasana, but still. For you to experience real benefits from chanting Aditya Hridayam, you have to at least do it a hundred times. Now, we have to remember that we do it in one sitting, we do it three times. So, a hundred times means at least for about a month, a month, 40 days. If you regularly practice Aditya Hridayam for a month or about 40 days, a lot of benefits will ensue to you. A lot. Many benefits will ensue to you. These benefits can come in terms of many things. Um, you will start getting up early to begin. When I started doing Aditya Hridayam about six years ago, I and I was probably 35, 36 at that time, or maybe a little bit more. I had spent 37 years struggling to get up in the morning. Struggling, literally struggling to get up in the morning. And within a year of having done Aditya Hridayam, I was getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning without any problem. Doesn't matter when what time I slept. And this... Like this time kept changing for me. The more I continued to practice, the sooner I would get up. I remember my mother who used to sleep through the morning because I never remember when I, when I was going to school, my, my dad did everything. Mom was not up to it early morning. She's not a morning person. Some people aren't. After a year of doing Aditya Hridayam, she started getting up at 7 o'clock. This is unheard of, right? In my family. So getting up in the morning with the sunrise becomes easier and easier. And as the years of practice pass, you can totally find yourself getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's not hard at all. People can do it. 
I can get up at four o'clock in the morning. Doesn't matter when you slept. So it's amazing. Like the day becomes larger. You just have so much more time to do your work. The other benefit that ensues out of doing Aditya Hridayam, you find that a lot of times, a lot of people struggle with people talking badly about them behind their back. It, like You kind of start getting a bad name in some circles. For no fault of yours, you've not done anything wrong. It's just like people like to bitch and somebody's bitching about you. People who suffer from this problem also will find tremendous relief. Tremendous relief. Nobody will backstab them. Nobody will talk badly about them behind their back. The third benefit, and I, I come to this third, because I think this, this is more material. This is more material. The third benefit that would ensue, like puja should be done or chanting should be done for no reason. It is a good thing to do. It keeps you balanced. It keeps you focused. Our ancestors have given us this tradition. We should follow in it. Puja should be done because it's a good thing to do. But in this case, in doing this, we get a lot of benefits. And this benefit is really amazing. You will for sure have a very good career or career options. I remember one person had lost their job and they came to me and I said, do Aditya Hridaya, we see what happens. Within 10 days, she got five offers. And this is not somebody who's small, who's looking for a transactional job. This is somebody who's senior, who's looking at a management position. So five offers in 10 days is quite a bit. It's amazing. It's unheard of. And I'm not saying everybody will benefit like this. But because everybody's karmic debt is different. So if Sometimes some people get very instantaneous benefit because that energy starts to work for them very quickly. Sometimes it takes time. That's why I would prescribe at least 40 days of recitation. Yeah, 40 days of proper recitation will give you tremendous amount of benefits. The other thing that will help, that it will help in, is your relationship with your father or the health of your father. Your father will be long lived. The relationship would be better. As you continue to chant, it will become better and better. And you will get a lot of acknowledgement and appreciation from your dad. So this is the third, the fourth benefit of chanting Aditya Hridayam. And there are many, many others. Um... Mostly people will start appreciating you. You will get favor from bosses. People will, uh, will not talk badly about you. They will like you. You will get up earlier in the morning. You will work harder through the day. You will, your work will be recognized. This is really beneficial for students. Students who are especially trying to do well in school or get into a good school or uh, get a good grade. If a student does it on a regular basis, there is no question in my mind that um, this will give a positive result. And I'll share two examples of that. Uh, one of my students was extremely sad because their child didn't get through to a good school in the sixth grade. And, and obviously in, in US, the, the great change, the school change can only happen in the sixth grade. So they were very disappointed. And I know the child and I said, babes, listen, if you want to get into good school, I don't know how hard it will be in the seventh grade, but I promise you, you will get into a good school if you do Aditya Hridayam. If you practice it regularly, 
it will work sure enough this year she got into the most coveted school in the 7th grade like it's not even easy to get into that school in 6th grade she got into the most coveted school which was meant for special gifted children in the 7th grade another story aditya hriday one one of my cousins he called me up and he's like listen my son's not doing very well he's failed in his pre boards pre boards are like um, certificate exams in school and and this is a school version of the certificate exam so imagine like a test paper he he failed in his uh, sat test papers that were conducted by the school i said you know what at this point i really can't guarantee that he's going to be able to study as much but let's try and get luck on his side tell him to chant the other there there the child somehow listened to me my my nephew he listened to me and he started chanting other there five months later my cousin calls me up you know what shrinka you won't believe it you won't believe what happened so i'm i'm totally a scatter brain i don't know what's going on so i'm like okay what's this about and i don't what will i not believe it's like your nephew scored 80% in his boards 80% in his boards the guy who was failing had gotten 80% in his boards how is this possible this is the power of aditya hriday so bigger smaller benefits will ensue to you this is guaranteed but we should do the chant irrespective because it's a good thing to do because it was prescribed to us because it is the most powerful chant for the sun and sun is the most powerful energy source that we have on this planet like can you imagine like living in london so down dead because sun hardly comes out so difficult it's depressing so this is a very beautiful chant you should chant it regularly the way to chant it is to recite it three times over in one sitting not three times over in one day three times over in one sitting when you sit down to do it you do it three times over so this is the chant that we are going to learn to do today aditya hridayam given to lord ram by agastya rishi so i'm going to share the screen here so that you can see the aditya hridayam if you don't have the text it is is this text is easily available on many resources in google and you can just look for aditya hridayam in english in sanskrit in any other language your language of preference that you can read it so we're going to start now today first section and you can see this one is the first section the first section here this is the dhyana and we are going to repeat it three times namas savitre jagade ka chakshu se jagat prasuti sthiti nasha hetave rahi maya ya trigunatma dharini virinchi narayan shankaratmane two more namas savitre jagade ka chakshu se jagat prasuti sthiti nasha hetave trahi maya ya trigunatma dharine virinchi narayana shankaratmane namas savitre jagade ka chakshu se jagat prasuti sthiti nasha hetave trahi maya ya trigunatma dharine virinchi narayana shankaratmane now we're going to start the chant and this chant is going to be done from here tato yuddha parishrantam right up to the end 
which is, let's see here. Madhya Gato Vachastvare, the end, 31st shloka. So we are going to repeat it three times over. In this YouTube video, I'm only going to repeat it once. And I'm going to create a separate video, which you can use for practice, wherein you can continue to play it more number of times so that you can do it three times. It is just a chant and no uh, commentary up front. Okay. And I'll share the link for that uh, in the video. So we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start chanting here. Um, let's find it again. There. So we're going to start from Ato Yud. Ato Yud Parishrantam Samari Chintaya Sthitam Ravanam Chagrato Drishtva Yudhaya Samupasthitam Deva Taishcha Samagamyam Drashtrum Abhyagato Ranam Upagamya Bravidramam Agastyo Bhagavan Rishihi Rama Rama Mahabaho Shrinuguhyam Sanatanam Yena Sarvana Rimvatsa Samare Vijayishyasi Aditya Hrida Yampunyam Sarva Shatru Vinashanam Jaya Vaham Japi Nityam Akshayam Paramam Shivam Sarva Mangala Mangalyam Sarva Papa Pranashanam Jinta Shopa Prashamanam Ayur Vardhanamuktamam Rashmi mantam samudhyantam, Deva suranamaskritam, Puja yaswa vivaswantam, Bhaskaram bhuvaneshwaram, Sarva devatma kohesha, Tejas virashmi bhavanaha, Esha deva suraganan, Lokan pati gabasthibi, Esha brahmacha vishnuscha, Shiva skanda prajapati Mahindro dhana dakalo Yamah somo yapampati Pitaro vasavasadhya Ashvino maruto manu Bayur vahni prajaprana Ritukarta prabhakara Aditya savita surya Kaga pusha gabasthiman Suvarna Sadrisho Bhanur Hiranyareta Divakaraha Haridashwa Sahastrachi Sapta Saptil Marichiman Timiron Matana Shambhus Vashta Martanda Koan Shuman Hiranyagarbha Shishiras Tapano Haskaro Ravihi Agni Garbho Dite Putra Shankha Shishirana Shanaha Domanatha Samo Bhedi Rigda Jusama Paragaha Ghana Vrishti Rapam Mitro Vindya Viti Plavanga Maha Ata P. Mandali Mrityu Pingala Sarvata Panaha Kavir Vishwo Mahateja Rakta Sarvod Bhavod Bhavaha Nakshat Grahataranam Adipo Vishwabhavanaha Teja Sama Piteja Sui Dwada Shatma Namostute Namah Purva Yagiraye Paschima Yadraye Namaha Jyotir Gana Nampataye Dina Dipataye Namaha Daya Yajaya Padraya Ariyashwaya Namo Namaha Namo Namaha Sahastrancho Adityaya Namo Namaha Nama Ugraya Viraya Sarangaya Namo Namaha Nama Padma Prabodaya Martandaya Namo Namaha Brahmesha Natchuteshaya Surya Dityavarchasi Bhaswati Sarva Bhakshaya 
रौद्राय वपुषे नम तमोघ्नाय हिमघ्नाय शत्रुघ्नायामितात्मने कृतघ्नघ्नाय देवाय ज्योतिषां पत नम चाकराभाय महन्े विश्वकर्मणे नमस्तमोनाय ऋचे लोकसाक्षिण नाशयत्यश वैभूत तदे सृजति प्रभु पायत्यश तपत्यश वर्षत्यश गबस्थि एष सुप्तेषु जागर्ती भूतेषु परिष्ठि एष एवाग्निहोत्र फल चैवाग्निहोत्रिण वेदाश्च क्रतवश्च क्रतुना फलमे चृत्या लोकेशु सर्व रविप्रभु सुपृेषु शाताषु भयेशु चीर्तयन पुष कशि नवसीदति राघव पूजय स्वेन मेकाग्रो देवदेव जगत्पति त्रिगुणित जप्वा युद्धेशु विजयिष्यसी अस्मिन् क्षणे महाबाहो रावण वधिष्यसी मुक्वा तदागस्त्यो जगाम चागत श्रुवा महातेज नष्टोको भारयामास सुप्रीत राघव आदित्यं प्रेक्ष जप्वा तू परम हर्षमतवान्चम्य शुचिर्भूत धनुरादा वीर्यवाण रावण प्रेक्ष हृष्टात्मा युद्धा सगमत सर्वत्न महता वधे तृतोद्भव अतः रवीर वदनरीक्ष मुदित मन परम प्रहृष्यण निशिचरपती संशय विदि सुरगण मध्य गोवाचस्वरीशे श्रीमद्राणे वाक आदि काव्य युद्ध कांडे पंचाधिशत सर्ग So this is the entire rendition of Aditya Hridayam, and again I'll say this at the cost of, of sounding repetitive. You have to repeat it three times for it to have any benefit in one sitting. Now, I've shared the entire Aditya Hridayam. I have shared the benefits of Aditya Hridayam in this video. I have also shared the the how to practice aditya hridayam i have shared what i haven't shared is this is not very hard if you do it regularly for about a month a month and a half you'll actually commit it to memory even the worst of us even those of us who think that we cannot learn anything you'll actually commit it to memory so please do practice aditya hridayam and make it a part of your daily routine and within a month you will practice you will pra you will actually commit it to memory so you would be able to practice it no matter where you go irrespective of whether you have a phone with you or a book with you or not you'd be able to practice it so that's it from me today uh thank you very much for listening to this and being patient around it uh enjoy chanting continue to chant namaskar